Hey cooks, I found this cute little dough machine on Amazon. It's the Bear Dough Maker. And you know I had to get it. It is like a bread machine without the baking cycle. So it just makes bread, bread dough. But it makes a lot of it because it's seven liters. So it's way bigger than your standard bread machine. So uh, we're gonna take this on its initial run. We're going to do my bread machine dinner rolls, but we're going to do a double batch of that dough to see how this little dough maker performs. So join me. Let's try this baby out. So I was on Amazon and I saw this little dough maker. I've seen these before, but I've never really seen them available in the US. Basically, all this thing does is make dough. It has only two cycles, mixing, it has a timer for it, and fermenting. I still haven't figured out yet if it will automatically go to ferment or you have to, when it's done mixing, then put it on ferment. So this is how this little baby works. Here's our bowl and it comes off just like this. It has a lid with a hole in it where you can add ingredients in here, similar to a lot of other kind of mixers that we see. Um, you just twist off the lid, and here is the inside of the bowl. So this is our dough hook. This thing is huge compared to a bread machine. So we're gonna see how this is gonna work. So let me grab my ingredients and I'll be right back. So you can find this uh, recipe out on my website. I'll put links to it down in the description. I'll also put a link up here to my original bread machine dinner roll, how I made it in a bread machine in a single batch. We're doing a double batch. So all I'm doing is doubling everything. I'm not using baker's percentage because I really didn't initially create the recipe that way. So we're gonna double everything and we're probably gonna to have to adjust the flour. One of the things when you do that is you wanna start overly sticky and put uh, flour in. It's easier to get that to incorporate as opposed to having a really stiff dough and trying to get water in it because water just kind of sloshes around. It takes a while for it to actually um, get mixed into the dough. So. We're gonna be watching how that goes, and this is just, you just learn this the more you make bread. So we have our dough hook on here. I'm gonna put our water, I've got two cups of water. I'm gonna put our yeast, I have four teaspoons of an instant yeast. You can mix that yeast right into the flour. I always do it this way just because I'm used to, um, I'm used to uh, active dry. Um, we have sugar to feed that yeast. We have some oil as our fat to soften this bread up. This re results in a really soft uh, dough. I've made this into, um, into bread loaves instead of dinner rolls. You could do that if you would like. So one thing about this thing is you can, I. I uh, noticed that you can program your mixing and your fermenting, and I'm assuming it's gonna move to ferment. Because if I go mix for 15 minutes, and then I go ferment, I'm gonna do like a, oops, 15 minutes and a ferment. I'm gonna do like a 40 minute ferment. And we're just going to start. And this has an intermittent, intermittent kneading, so it's going to go and stop and go and stop. It, my bread machine starts out that way, but then it just goes without stopping. This one uh, is intermittent the whole time. Okay, so let's put our flour in. And I'm just gonna watch this because I didn't calculate this based on percentages. So, like any dough, you're gonna, you're gonna have to adjust it somewhat, but I don't want it to get overly stiff. Mm. 
I'm just gonna knock that down real quick. <laughs> Do that fast. Mmm. This is a powerful little machine. So we're starting to get a soft dough ball. I'm just gonna see how this is smoothed out. Oh, it looks really good. It's making a nice dough, nice dough, ball of dough. on this cycle so we're gonna let this go and then we'll see when it switches over to ferment so it just switched over to ferment I'm so happy about that I didn't know that it would do that but it did do that awesome so you can program these things as you know as much as you long as you want if you wanted to ferment an hour you could do that it has settings you can go up to two hours in there we're just doing a quick ferment because i want to get these in the oven so we can have some dinner rolls uh tonight for dinner so uh we'll be back when this is done and we'll be ready to shape our rolls for the second rise okay the dough is done fermenting so i'm going to take a look at this Ooh, it's definitely doubled in size so um let me move this over here okay so let's get this dough out of here and um ooh, i think i'm gonna put just a little tiny bit of flour on here i don't want to put too much so because there's only two of us i'm only gonna make half of this dough into uh dinner rolls the other half i'm gonna put in the refrigerator and ooh, look at that that is a beauty. <laughs> I'm going to put it into the refrigerator and let it ferment for maybe a couple days. It'll give me a, a better taste, give more flavor to the dough. Plus, and give, and give us some time to eat the other rolls. Yeah, give us time to eat the other stuff. Yeah. Um, woo. This dough hook is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty huge. You're going to weigh this bad boy? Yeah, I kind of want to see how much dough I have here. So let me zero that out and knock this down a little bit. Let's see how much dough I have here. How do you rate that dough ball? Does it look pretty? Nice. It's beautiful. Did a great job. So we have a three pound dough ball. So this is basically two loaves of bread. Two one and a half pound loaves, right? So I'm going to knock this in half. Okay. So I'm going to give me a little tiny knead here. and give us, just round it out. It'll give you a nice and smooth dough ball. I'm gonna take this, stick this dough into the Ziploc, and I'm gonna close it up and I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. And it's just gonna ferment in there. It's gonna do a slow rise. And in two days, I'll take it out, let it come to room temperature, uh, I'll shape it into probably a loaf of bread and then let it rise and bake it off. So we have some bread for this week 
And then here we have our dough for the rolls. So dinner rolls are about two ounces each. So you don't have to weigh them out, but it gives you more consistent rolls. So we're gonna have 10 rolls here. And we're just gonna shape our rolls. Everybody does this like a million different ways. Um, I pretty much just turn them into this little like garlic looking thing. And I take my hand, I cup it. Ooh, I got dough all over. Cut my hand and just let it roll. And that's gonna smooth your roll out and give you a nice, nice little round dough ball. So I just bring these edges in, squeeze it in like this, make it look like a little uh, garlic clove, flip it over, cut my hand down. And you don't want a lot of flour on here because you need that little bit of grippiness when you roll it around and it'll give you the beautiful dinner roll. Bring the edges in, squeeze it like a little bulb of garlic, cup it. You don't want it sliding too much, so you don't want a lot of um, flour on there, but that gives you your dough ball. So let me go ahead and finish uh, shaping these rolls. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover these with a clean kitchen towel. I, put, I had a few too many for this pan, so I put those on there. And um, these are gonna rise for maybe 30, 40 minutes again, and we'll be back to bake them. So it's been about 40 minutes. I am going to put these in the oven at 350. I don't want them to get too big because they're gonna puff in the oven and then they'll just be these big monsters. So um, we have them at 350. About five minutes before they're done, I'm gonna brush them with butter to give them that mm, taste, right? Mm. So when that happens, we'll be back. Looks like our bear dinner rolls uh, look pretty fantastic. So I buttered them just before, uh, maybe five minutes before um, I took them out. Mmm. They're still nice and warm. Are you gonna want one of these, Bill? I don't know. <laughs> maybe I might want two. Or five. I didn't say that. <laughs> uh-huh. Ooh. Wow. I would say these look mighty tasty. So we got 10 rolls here. Looking pretty good, huh? Wow. Okay, well. Oh my gosh. I think Boo is ready to have one. So let me get this one right here. So here's our roll. I'm gonna go ahead and tear it open. Oh, it's nice and soft. Look at the inside. <laughs> get a little butter on there, or a lot of butter. Come on over, Boo. Oh, you got some static, boo. I can't hear you very well. I'm going to have to come over here and see what's causing it. Uh-huh. Homemade uh, dinner Oh, rolls. my pretty. Look at yeah. that. Nice. <laughs> Bottoms up. Yum, 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 yum. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it is tasty. Mm -hmm. So Cooks, this is our first look at the bear dough machine. This is kind of an interesting machine to me because it's like a bread machine without the dough side, with the, without the baking cycle. How much this can do, I don't know. I don't want to overload it, but you can definitely make two loaves of bread in here. Uh, I would imagine you could probably make about twice as much as what we made. Uh, maybe we'll try that in the future. I just don't want to burn the machine out, particularly when I don't know anything about this machine. Plus, what would we do with all the bread? Yeah, what would we do with all the bread? Uh, so we made some really nice dinner rolls, and we have some dough in there that we can use for some bread um, later on this week. So I'm actually kind of happy with this thing. I, I'm, I'm liking it. It's growing on me. If you want to take a look at this, I will put a link down in the description um, to this little dough maker. Also, uh, there'll be a link to a single batch of this bread dough. You can obviously make it in a regular mixer or in a bread machine. So cooks, if you like this kind of recipe, if you love stand mixers and dough machines, if you love to make bread or you want to learn to make bread, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell so you'll get notified of our uploads. Also, uh, give us a comment. Let, let us know what you think about this little machine. Um, you can also visit me on in my Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Learns to Cook. We talk about stand mixers all day long in that group. Also, you can catch me on Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook and also on Instagram at Cooking with Amy. Don't forget, hit my website, amylearnstocook.com, for this recipe.